Good morning and welcome to Always Be Crafting. I'm Natasha and I am ready to show off some things. So what day is today? Today is Friday, January 5th, <laughs> 2024. And if you watched any of my videos in December, you know that I was getting sick. Well, it turns out I had COVID. I'm feeling much better because I took the Paxlovid, Paxlovid, I'm not sure how to pronounce that drug, but I've been taking that medication. I am feeling better. Problem is I have like horrible stomach acid that makes me nauseous and I took one more day off work. So I could not work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like at all. Today, I was on the fence today. I was really on the fence. If, oh, there goes my dog. <laughs> Hi, Midge. Um, if I hadn't, if I didn't have this stomach acid, I probably would have taught this morning. But it comes in such strong waves that make it impossible. And the idea of singing and dancing just didn't really fit with how I thought I could handle my day. I do have to work tonight, but it's only 45 minutes, which is a lot different than three hours, you know? So again, I'm a preschool music teacher. If you've never been here before, hi, <laughs> welcome. Um, I do music in preschools. And this morning I would have been from basically nine to noon, a very full morning and I don't get breaks in that three hours, which is fine because I come, I do my thing and then I'm gone. Like it's fine that the classes are back to back. It's just in my current condition, I'm not sure that would have really worked. So um, I had to make the hard decision to take one more day to wave the white flag, if you will. So I've been trying to find the silver lining. I've been trying to say like, if I'm going to feel this way, I'm gonna take a sip of water, excuse me. Sorry, that stomach acid, it just comes. Um, if I'm gonna be home, I'm going to get stuff done. So I have done like resting. <laughs> Obviously there's been a lot of sleeping, um, but there's been vacuuming and dusting and reorganizing and rearranging. And I've tried to just kind of go down my list of things I wanted to accomplish. And when I could handle them, I handled them. So right as New Year's was coming, like actually on New Year's Eve because of fireworks and crazy dogs, I started working on a duffel bag for my son. And I think I had mentioned this in a previous video that I was going to make this duffel bag. And um, I was kind of stuck in the basement. My craft area is in the basement, but my dog was really stressed out because they started the fireworks at like 10 p.m. And again, I wasn't feeling well, so we were not, we were not going out. We were not seeing people, we were staying home. And, um, I um, was in the basement from like 10 p.m. to like almost 1 a.m. because that's like how long it took for my dog to like really calm down. But I took advantage of those hours and I cut out the duffel bag. And over the course of, I guess, Monday and Tuesday, um, I finished sewing it together. So I'll show that to you first. Da 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 da. Here we go. So I had used the same fabric that um, I had made my quilt coat out of. So if you've, again, if you've been here before, you would have seen my quilt coat. It is a pre-quilted uh, navy blue cotton fabric and it's double, side, double sided pre-quilted. So um, I chose not to do interior pockets, um, but I did do the binding on it. I used what I had, so I had this um this zipper in my stash it's a double it's a double zip so it comes on both sides so i thought perfect it's perfect size i'll use that i had these two strappings in my um in my stash again i only had enough of this lighter color to kind of do the handles on both sides plus this uh, in the pocket um it was not super well thought out because <laughs> like I said, I knew I wanted to do it and I knew which pattern I wanted to use and I knew which fabric I wanted to use, but I kind of threw it all together um, in my little sickened stupor. And um, I wish I had not, 
I mean, this, this gray is nice. The nice thing is, is because it's like diamonds and then the fabric is diamonds. I thought that would be nice, but you know. Okay. So I was just talking about the, the duffel bag. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I had to take a phone call. So if I had had time to think about it, I was pointing out that the, the gray uh, strapping has diamonds, which kind of relates to the diamond pattern in the fabric, which I like, but I don't love how the gray looks against this fabric. And I had a green zipper. So again, I was using what I had. All that matters is that my son loves it. And I was able to put it together pretty quickly. I had leftover fabric from my quilt coat. So I used everything is from my stash. The straps are from my stash. The zippers from my stash. I did not have to purchase anything, everything I had. So all I have to do now is make a strap to go over the shoulder to just in case he needs to hold it, you know, a longer strap. And I don't have any more of this aqua strapping. I don't have any more of this gray strapping. So I will find something again in my stash that kind of coordinates and he, he loves it. And that's all that matters. So that's project number one of 2024, which makes me feel very successful. Another project I had done, I had started in 2023 in December, is this purse. And here it comes. So it's a see-through purse with, um, I had gold hardware and I was having a tricky time finding the right gold for the zipper. So I chose a black zipper, but I love this rose zipper pull. And I had um, thought it was going to be a Christmas present. And then the person who um, was buying it from me said it wasn't a Christmas present, so I didn't have to rush. So I put it on the back burner because all I had left to do was the binding. So this is uh, the black and gray Moda Grunge is the fabric on the inside. So I used the same as the binding. Or I, used, I bound it in the same fabric as the lining fabric. And so I will clean that up, clean up the windows because there's like fingerprints and stuff. So I'll clean that up today and I will deliver that to the lucky recipient and I think she's gonna love it I really very pleased with the design of it and um, that's what she wanted she wanted a very boxy um, style bag with clear windows for going to um, concerts so another thing finished in 2023 let's see what else did I do I have um, oh I had also shown you these zipper pouches in uh, a video towards the end of December that I had picked up. These ones came from Amazon and I used my little Cricut Joy Extra and I cut out words. So Joseph coat, Joseph's coat, that is tonight's Torah story. And again, I used, um, my sublimation printer and sublimated onto felt to make the story. I had shown off that I had, um, redone my felt Torah with, um, polar fleece to make it more sticky. So here's that. And then I wrapped the bars in gold vinyl. I'm not sure I love this cause I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not sure, but, um, I think it looks better than it did before, even though it's not perfect. It looks better. That's a, they're PVC pipes, these white PVC pipes. Maybe I should have like spray painted them, but <clears throat> it's cold outside. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's really what that comes down to. So that is ready for tonight. <clears throat> what else have I done? Oh, I had purchased these white bins to be my um, scrap busting bins. And I'm going to have to insert a picture because those are uh, somewhere else in the house right now. But um, I had, I took vinyl cuts. I can actually show you the little strips of vinyl because I have some leftovers here. I had lots of... Um, little scrap pieces. So I did different colors and I put the colors around the bin. So now I know which bin gets which color fabric. So now I just have to actually sort all my scrap fabric because I have a ton. I have at least three laundry baskets full of scrap fabric and there might be, there might be more scrap fabric that I'm not thinking of because I don't throw anything away. Like a piece of fabric has to be really small and really unusable for me to throw it away. So I've kept a lot of fabric over the years. So a lot of projects. What I'm, I want to do this. Okay, okay. Slow down, Natasha. I want to 
sort the scrap fabric ASAP, like it's probably tomorrow morning's project, because I have um, two challenges coming up. So I've, I love these, um, actually three, I just joined another one this morning. So I have three things that are either a slow along or a challenge that is happening in the month of January. So the first one, I'm making another duffel bag with a slow along group. It's a different pattern than this though. So I'm excited because um, I've only done this, this style of duffel bag. And when I say this style, I mean this style is where the, it's very, this construction is very similar to this construction in the sense that there's a front and a back and then a strip that goes around, all the way around um, where the zipper goes. And it's the same in this, see? So like this panel, this zipper panel, attaches to this pocket panel and goes all the way around. And so the front and the back are then sewn on to that panel. Um, some people call it a gusset. So um, that's the only kind of bag I really have done. Um, so the duffel bag pattern that I'll use coming up is one that's like this, it's like from the top of the zipper goes all the way around. So it's one big giant piece. And I'm sure I can do that because that's similar to how I make like a pencil pouch. So as far as I can see, it's a very similar, similar, not exactly the same as making a pencil pouch. So, um, I know I can do it, but it'll be fun to do it in a group. So I'm doing that slow along, that's slow, S-L-O-W, along, for a sew along, um, because we just do a little bit each week, and I think we do it over the course of seven weeks, which is how I did that zipper pouch I did last month. It's over there somewhere. Um, and I just like the camaraderie, you know, everyone checks in every week with like, oh, here's step one, here takes a fix picture, and we all ooh and ah over each other's fabric choices, and give each other words of encouragement. And I like that. So I don't really need it for the educational purposes. I'm sure I could do the pattern on my own if I just sat down and read it, but I'm gonna do it with a group because things are just more fun. So that starts next week. And then um, and then the other challenge is a um, person and words challenge. So it can be any pattern, like it doesn't matter what pattern I do, but I have until January 31st and I have an idea and I'm super excited about it. I won't show it off yet, but um, I was in my Cricut design space yesterday designing it because I'm going to use my Cricut to cut out the fabric for the person and the words. And then I'm going to use applique um, to get them attached. And then I have two different ideas of which kind of bag I want to use. One is like a bag, um, very similar to what I made for my computer last week. Again, if you watched <laughs> last week, I'll try to link things. Maybe that's what I need to learn how to do is link other videos. Um, cause I don't have that in front of me, but I had done a, a pouch with a zipper that went at a diagonal and then you could open it up and slip your, um, notebook computer into it. Your laptop computer slips in or iPad or a book, whatever you want to put in it. So that's one idea is to do that pattern with maybe a modification or two. And um, I don't need it for my computer, so I might make it smaller. I don't know. Like I said, might have a modification or two. And then the other pattern would be like a book pattern, like a book cover kind of pattern. Um, because uh, I have like, I, how do I give this away without giving this away? All right, so the the person that I'm putting on my pattern, the person I'm planning to put on my pattern is an artist. So I'm actually planning out like an art thing. So it would be like a journal cover for like my art journal. Does that make sense? So I will give you more hints as we go. So that's, 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 that's a challenge because I only have until January 31st to come create that and enter the contest. And then the other challenge is another sew along, but it's um, a quilt pattern called, um, there's a book by Tula Pink called The 100 Modern Blocks. And I started it like five years ago and I think I did three blocks from the book. And then I just sort of lost my incentives. So they're doing another sew along 
a group of people have gotten together and said, hey, we're using the book. We're doing all 100 blocks. And I'm like, yes, I need this. I have the book. I've got like three blocks done. And I've got a bunch of pattern, like a bunch of fabric set aside. So this will help me kind of get through a work in progress. So I've already started it. So it's already technically a work in progress. But now having a group of people to sew along with, I think I've noticed about myself, this really is helpful. Okay, so that's everything. So projects I've done, projects are coming. Um, I'm getting over COVID because the medicine. And what else can I tell you? I think that's everything for this little update. So this was just, I wanted to come on and just do a quick update. That's it. So I don't know how quick it was, probably 20 minutes or something. I'll start editing. And if I can add in any photos of anything, I will. Fingers crossed. My editing skills are still growing, still learning. And I hope you have a wonderful start to 2024. May it be healthy and happy. And if you're watching this in the future, whatever day, whatever time, whatever year it is, may it also be filled with health and happiness. I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching and I hope you like and subscribe and come back and see what progress I make. Bye.